Welcome to another Abacus video tutorial. In this tutorial, I'll be going through some of the buttons that are at the top of the screen here. First, I'll start with the Abacus logo. This Abacus logo is a shortcut button that will always take you back to this point of sale screen that you can see here. As an example, I'll navigate to the drop down menu and go into settings. If a customer walks in and I need to take the order, I can quickly tap the Abacus logo to take me back to the point of sale screen. Next, we'll go through the support options that Abacus offers. The first one is screen sharing. If you're having an issue, the Abacus support team can take a look at your screen and guide you in resolving the issue. Next, I'll tap support live chat. Once you've selected support live chat, tap the blue bubble on the bottom right of the screen and then tap new conversation. Now you can enter your query at the bottom of the screen and the Abacus support team will respond to you, usually in under a minute. The Abacus support team is available 7 days a week from 7am till 11pm. For now, I'll close this. Once you're finished getting help from the Abacus support staff and you want to make the blue bubble on the bottom right disappear, just tap the green headset icon again. Next, I'll show you the customer lookup screen. This screen here will display all of the customers that have been added to the database. It will show their membership number, first name, last name, mobile number, and points. We'll cover points in a later video as this is related to our loyalty marketing module. For now, I'll add a customer to the database as an example. Once you have all the information filled out, just tap the blue register button. By default, it will register the customer and start a new order with their name that you can see at the bottom here. If you want to search for a customer, just enter their name here and then tap the search button. You can see here the customer that I just added to the database. From here, I can start a new order for that customer by tapping the plus icon. You can see that their name is displayed here again. You can also look at their previous transaction history by tapping the middle icon here. At the moment, there are no sales for this customer. Lastly, you can make changes to a customer's save details. To do this, just tap the pencil icon. Here, you're able to check over all of the details for the customer and make any changes. Once you're happy with the changes, just tap the blue update button. The next function at the top of the screen is the online store. I'll cover how to set up your online ordering website in a later video. Next, I'll tap the Master Sync icon at the top of the screen. This will download all of the changes that have been made on the back end to this iPad. If you have more than one iPad and you've done the Master Sync from your Master iPad, you should see a Notify prompt appear. Just tap Notify. The next option here is the QR code scanner. I'll cover this in a later video also. Next, I'll tap the spoon and fork icon. Here, we can see our menu. If you have more than one menu, you can switch between them here. For example, you might have a breakfast, lunch and dinner menu. I'll cover this section in more detail in a later video also. Next, we'll take a look at the printer settings. If you've had your Abacus point of sale system installed by one of our Abacus support technicians, all of this should already be set up for you. We'll cover how to start from scratch with adding a new printer to the system in a later video. Next we have the reservations function. 
Here you can take phone reservations from your customers by tapping Add New. Just fill out the details here and then tap Save. For now I'll tap X. I'll cover this in greater detail in a later video as it's very customizable.